you know, in regards to when I look back and reflect how they handled my situation, regardless if I was being a little shithead or not, you know, I think I think they could probably look back now and say they could handle a lot better from a you know a personal well-being, mental well, mental health point of view. Like, I mean, I got sent away from first of all when it, when it all happened. Um, you know, Goody, Goody called me the next few days and just checked in and made sure I was okay, which you know I was super grateful for at the time. Um, so that was sweet. And then I got we we're meant to do a, a football report, like a review after the game. After every game, you have to say, you know, how was your offense, defense, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. And I didn't. I think I wrote on mine just a night I'd like to forget. That's all I think I wrote. And I knew I wasn't playing for a long period of time. I wasn't trying to be a smart ass. I just, I just didn't know how to, how to even, you know, I didn't even know how to reflect on that game. So I wrote that. And then I got to the club on Monday, went to training. You know, it was a weird thing because there was so much media there and it was all about me, which, again, I, you know, I'm not that type of person. I actually don't want it to be all about me, even though I did things like that. Um, and then he ripped me, like ripped me about, you know, being arrogant, not, not uh, you know, putting the report in properly, which, again, I can see from, a, from his point of view, maybe he just wanted me to, you know, follow the rules, which is understandable. So from then, you know, and then I had obviously the tribunal that night. Um, and just before I was about to go to the tribunal, he pulled me in and just said that I wasn't going to be, you know, allowed to come to the club for the next 10 days. Um, which for me, you know, it's probably the one moment in my life that I've actually genuinely had anxiety. Um, and I was just shocked. I, you know, I thought, this is a club, you know, obviously going through a, a tough time. And I just thought, you know, he, he really could have been there, especially as a leader and, and someone I really looked up to. Um, and he kind of just said, you know, you're not, you're not coming back to the club for 10 days. And then I had, you know, a couple of people check in with me. I think Shannon Burns checked in with me. He was the welfare manager a couple of times. But probably one person, um, you know, Max Gorn and it, he, he checked in with me a couple of times and I actually felt a bit rude the first time he reached out. I didn't, I didn't reply to anyone. I kind of just put my phone down. And then he kind of sent me another message a couple of days later going like, come on, mate. Like, you know, I'm trying to reach out to make sure you're okay. And I just, you know, I apologize and said, mate, thanks so much. And I appreciate it. But, you know, I guess that shows a bit of Max's character too. And when he got picked to be the captain, um, I was actually genuinely grateful and, and happy for him because first of all, he's a great person, great player. Um, but just that moment there showed me he genuinely cared. He didn't have to do that. Um, yeah. And he wasn't captain leader at the time I don't think so